Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lutra FM, with another Light Club Pro episode on TDW9. Um, just one thing I need to let you know before I forget. Um, so the week starting tomorrow, which will be the 19th of August, I shan't be putting any any um, videos up or anything like that for the week. I'm going on holiday. It was um, not sprung on me because that sounds bad. It was a nice surprise by my girlfriend who booked it. So um, we're having me and her having a well-deserved week off. Um, so that'll be nice. So I'll, I'll probably be itching to do some recording, but she's told me I'm not allowed to bring my laptop just in case. <laughs> so um, I can't record even if I wanted to, but yeah. So in, in the meantime, just try and catch up with this series and the other TW 2020 series maybe and some football manager content. If you were a bit bored, I would appreciate the extra views. Um, but yeah, so basically in this episode, um, after I put this first show, you will see some new faces because I looked at the roster and then I looked at the wrestlers available in the Midlands area on the Good Game database and they're few and far between. So I'm having to bring in other local wrestlers. Um, the, the rest, not local wrestlers, but look like UK wrestlers basically. The wrestlers I've brought in, most of them have actually wrestled for Fight Club Pro back in the day. Um, so yeah, so we'll just see how it goes from there. So the intro is just going to be short and sweet, but I just want to let you know, no recordings next week, so don't expect any TW9 stuff, sorry. But I'll be back the week after with some new recordings on Wednesday and Sunday. So that'll be TW9, um, week starting, um, 26. So we are looking at 28 will be the next time you'll see a TW9 video after this one. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave you to it and I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right, we're back. Here we are. So, um, yeah, let's crack on then. We'll go with the Star Wars as usual. Uh, boardroom meeting, we won't bother with that. I can't be bothered. Is anybody else already bored of that? I thought it was going to be something really good, but I'm really disappointed in it, to be honest. Uh, Des Robinson was brought before wrestlers court, accused of making a mess backstage and not cleaning up. Blah, blah, blah. Bear with us. I just need to do something on here. There we go. You ought to hear that annoying ping noise. Um... Roy Knight got into an argument with Trent Seven backstage, annoyed at the morale of his team building. Roy Knight has a bully personality. Yeah, that's the same. Right, team building. We can't do team bonding. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fire Roy Knight. I think that's the best thing to do. There we go. Send a message to the rest of Ross not to mess with me. Right, so as I said, this, this show here will have the original roster on here still. So we'll have real Will Cruz versus Kid Lollipos. We'll have, I think we're going to have Will Cruz win this one because I want to try and push him a bit. We'll do that. And then we'll do a beat down afterwards. Will Cruz, Taka, Kid Lollipos. So this I hate this new style of angle writing. My mate said the same as well. He said he hates how they do how the angles are done now. We'll just do light cross. There we go. Not exactly very exciting, is it? I know. We've got no choice. Uh we'll do kid light cross two versus who else? Brendan White, we'll do Brendan White, and then what we'll do is I'll have Brendan White win this one because again I want to try and originally this stable was just going to be a jobber stable with Brian Alvarez, but um I want to kind of push a few of these. I, w I wouldn't mind creating my own stars so to speak from the bottom up. And I think Will Cruz and Brendan White would be pretty good. Did I do this? Um, right. 
So singles match let's do um so we've only got leon slater for one more show so i don't know whether just to keep him for the next big event uh, right there we go so we've got we've got dave mastiff so we'll put dave mastiff we can have him against ashley dunn and again what I'm going to do is have Ashley Dunn win this. Dave lets me, he does. And then we'll do an angle afterwards where Ashley Dunn is the attacker. Pretty simple, boring booking style here. But we're trying to get new styles out of this. Especially with the new wrestlers coming in as well. We want to try and just make our own homemade ones. Right, so that's that. We've done we've got enough for one more match. So we'll do Trent versus uh man like Jerice. And we'll have Trent's title on the line. We'll have Trent win. And that's that. There we go. Right. So Will Cruz won. The segment got a 36, wrestling got a 37. Uh Will Cruz only got a 34, Kid Lycos got a 40. Kid Lycos 2 could have done a better job as road agent. Angle Atlas got a 26. Brendan White beat Kid Lycos 2. This done a little bit better in the segment, 43. The wrestling was a little bit better, 43 as well, but that's mostly because Kid Lycos 2 is a, a very good in-ring performer. But uh, Brendan White did all right with 38. Angle Atlas got 27. And then Ashley Dunn defeating Dave Mastiff. Second got a 32. Wrestling got a 29. Uh, Ashley Dunn not very good. But maybe not push Ashley Dunn as much. He can't keep up in the ring, I don't think, at the moment. Maybe in time he will. And then the main event, Second got a 41. Wrestling got a 42. Um, Trent Seven with a 48. Man like Darice with a 35. Not too bad of a show. Let's see how we did. 38. We didn't increase our popularity, unfortunately. 53 people turned up, which I think is our biggest crowd yet. Could be wrong on that one. Um, 371 pounds made in ticket sale. 10 pound made in merchandise. But overall, we lost 1,783. So eventually we just want to find we just eventually want to break even really at the moment we're a small uk indie we want to ideally break even every show or make a slight ideally we want to make a little bit of profit each show that's what they want to do in real life at the moment we can't do that so um right our next show is in six days so what, hold on, let's see what this is first i don't know let's go and get johnny kid in um, right, so I'm back in a sec. Right, we're back with the next show. Um, I will show you some of the wrestlers that we've signed in a second. I'll just go through this because I clicked, I clicked um, too far ahead. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Right, locker room incidents. We've signed Flash Morgan Webster. Um, um, he was clearly not happy with Trent Seven. Apparently irritated by the morale officers, team building efforts. Okay. Um, Mercedes Blaze and Kid Like Us 2 have been hanging out with each other a lot recently. Apparently the pair of Luke Jacobs and Emma Jordan have been hanging out lately. And then Jetta ran pre-show training skills to work on basics and safety for two students, Mercedes Blaze and Raven Creed. And then Trent did the same for Taylor students. Ashton Smith caused an incident when antagonist PK, uh, sorry, when he antagonized PK Cooper so much that a fight broke out between them. Um, Dan Reed, who has that, who is uh, head of talent relations, chose to respond with slapping the wrist. And then Mark Haskins got into a heated argument with a fan at backstage, out, sorry, outside arena. 
has to be restrained before we make him physical. Uh, Dan Reed following him. Uh, Gene Munry lifted the crowd. Lifted the crowd? I can't get these words out today. I'm imagining things in my head. Um, gave Locker Room a lift when he provided a crate of free drinks for everybody. There we go. Alright, can't do any team building. Should we try meddling? No. Is there any negative? negative? No, no. Um, yeah, we'll leave it. We won't risk it. Right, so before I do anything else, I need to add a few more teams, and then I'll tell you about them. Um, we have got more than the hype, but for some reason they're retired on this database, so I've used the editor to unretire them. But the contracts I had them signed were for non wrestling roles, so um, I've had to negotiate a new contract with them. Um, just trying to think, yeah, yeah, that'll do. And then, right, who else have we got? POD, that's a good name, that's their name that they had before. POD were my tag team champions in my other save as Fight Club Pro. Uh, hold on. Subculture? There you go. That's their more familiar name. So I've signed Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster, for people who didn't know. Mark Haskins as well. He can be in the tag team with Robbie X. I'm trying to bulk up my tag division a bit now. Um, Hunter Brothers, but we can't have the Hunter Brothers because Jim Hunter is um, retired. So I could change it, but I might just leave Lee Hunter as a singles wrestler and Jim can be his, his manager or something. 198, Morgan Webster and I can't remember now. Uh, and then the Marooders. So it's a decent tag division now. So we've got, we've got the tag team of for now, obviously Leon Slater is going to be leaving soon. Uh, Man like the recent Leon Slater, and then we've got featured attraction, which is Omari and Michael Oku. Obviously, Lloyd Costume, Malicious Intent, which is Connor Mills and Michael Oku. A team of called the New Blood, which is the old NXT UK tag team of Amir Jordan and Kenny Williams. POD, as I've already mentioned, Revolution X, which is Jody Fleisch and Johnny Storm. Starbucks, which is what I mentioned already, Mark Haskins and Robbie X. Subculture, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. Um, 198, Flash Morgan Webster and Wild Ball. The team I've called The Last Hard Men, which is Dave Mastiff and, Jay and Jack Stars, who teamed up on NXT UK back in the day. And then The Marooders, which is Mike Bird and Wild Ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a tag team match to start this show. Put the tag titles on the line. Uh, right, the tag champions are Kid Lycos and Kid Lycos 2. And do here, do that, do that. Uh, um, so we're trying to think who should we have. Should we try featured attraction? We'll try featured attraction and see how they get on. Michael Oku is probably rated better on this database than he was on the other one. Um, hopefully, Connor Mills is as well. Right, we'll have Lycos, the Lycos brothers uh, retain the tag titles. We've also got Doug Williams, who's a very good road agent, so hopefully that will improve the matches. Um, then we'll have Connor Mills, Taka, uh, Michael Oku, Taka. Kid Lycos, Dixon, and then the same, oh, Kid Lycos 2, and then we'll just put in Mills, and Oku, Pack, the Lycos. Sorry, there we go. Right, and then what we'll do now, we'll do another tag team match. We'll see what the other tag teams are like. We'll have Revolution X, which is Johnny Storm and Jody Fleisch. We'll have them against we'll have them against POD. A lot of these wrestlers I've signed are on like 
quite good wages, so the so the money the money's going to go downhill even more. But sometimes you've got to sacrifice one for the other. Um, in fact, I'm just going to do all tag team matches if I can. We'll do them versus them. Like so, and then what we'll do is we'll have. Kenny Williams, Taka, um, what's his name? Oh, hold on. Oh, it was Amir, wasn't it? There we go. Amir Jordan. And then, who did they wrestle? Oh, yeah. Mark Haskins and. So Mark Haskins and Robbie X. Just put um trying to remember the tag team names right now. Oh, post match attack, there we go. It's the easiest way to do it. Sorry everyone, I'm just still not getting used to these angles. Um how they're done. Right. How are we doing so far? Sixty one minutes so we've got enough. So we'll do a way or four way singles match. For the heavyweight title, and then we'll have Trent and then men's. I have hired some women's wrestlers, so Chantel Jordan, uh, Mercedes Blaze, Gina Samuels, Raymond Creed, Rio, and Session Ma Martina. Ginny is not in the database, and obviously, Kaylee Lee Ray is in WWE, so I can't hire them at the moment. Um, singles use men's right so we've got Trent let's see what else we've got in here Nathan Cruz probably want Mark Andrews definitely so Mark Andrews Flash Morgan Webster and then we just put Leon no they won't put Leon Slayer in that'll be a waste I think we'll put in Nathan Cruz all very good workers in my previous Fight Club Pro save. I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to leave the AI to decide. We might have a new champion. You never know. Let's crack on. See how we get on. So the tag team match of the Lie Costume. Um, they, sorry, the tag team of Lie Costume defeated Featured Attraction, which is Michael Oak and Con Mills. Segment got 55. Wrestling got 49. Uh, Michael Oku with a 59, so he was the standout performer. Both tag teams showed excellent chemistry together. That's good. Oh, it's Omari. Sorry, not Connor Mills. Omari, I apologise. Um, Daniel Ackwood's got a 33. We've got 50 right in for the segment in Revolution X, which is Johnny Storm and Jody Fleisch versus POD, which is Rampage Brown and Ashton Smith. POD defeated them. Um, who was the best performer? Jody Fleisch was the best performer by a mile with a 54. Nice to see him still doing well after all these years. The uh, the team of Starbucks defeated New Blood. So Starbucks, for anybody who doesn't remember, is Mark Haskins and Robbie X. And then New Blood is Amir Jordan and Kenny Williams. So a 48 rating for the segment and the wrestling. Um, Robbie X was the standout performer. Angle Ackles got a 21. And then in the main event, the uh, Trent Seven actually retained his title against Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster, and Nathan Cruz. Um, got a 53 rating, wrestling got a 50 rating. Who was the... Oh, that's so sad to see. <laughs> I was hoping these two would be like amazing workers again. Uh, 51 rating for them, Nathan Cruz wasn't very good. Trent Seven was the standout performer. I feel like we're going to do well this show, hopefully. There we go. Increase the popularity in one region. Got 50 rating and 52 people turned up. So, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we've lost a hell of a lot of money. So, we, 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 we made £364 in ticket sales, only got £9 in merchandise, cost us £4,430 just for the pay the workers, because obviously I did loads of matches with, involving loads of wrestlers. And the wrestlers I involved were probably on high, like higher wages than the others. So it cost us 
it cost us four and a half, about four thousand seven hundred seventy-four pounds, which is not good. We do need to find a way, try and find a way of without using the editor. I might not have a choice. I might have to use the editor. So we'll see. I'm hoping we can just turn it around over time. Um, like I said, our finances aren't the best. Let's just quick look at the finances. How much did we make from the alliance? So we only made forty six pounds from the alliance in September. Let's hope for a better October. You last time the alliance got us a lot of money. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can just. I'm gonna delete this. Yeah, resign. Right, I'm gonna resign from my own alliance. I'm gonna see if I can join a better one. We try. So they won't. They're not interested in us. We don't have the requirements. So we're gonna try and join the NWA. There we go. Hopefully that will help us financially. I, I, I mean, we've got to hope, haven't we? Thirty-three grand in debt. We lost twenty grand last month. Um, I have decided just to stick with the weekly shows and the the events at the end of the month. Um, I'm hoping eventually we can get a TV deal. Let's just have a quick look at the forecast because I don't think we'll get anybody interested. No. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, we're back with the next uh with the big monthly event called Paradise City. Um, I decided to just keep the the names as they are. Just let the AI just put the names. I can't. I couldn't be bothered to change the names to the the old Fight Club Pro pay per views for now. I might change mine in a bit. I just. I don't think they're that bad of a name, but Paradise City is a pretty good name, to be honest. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just trying to look at the creative side while you're here. So, Rampage Brown is meant to be our biggest star, followed by Session Ma Ma Martina, Michael Oakley, Trent Seven, and Mark Haskins. Um, oh, for God's sake. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My, uh, my, my touchpad. If I'm doing like clicking on something, else, sometimes it just randomly goes all the way down to here, and I don't know why it does that. Anyway, next big things: Joe Lando, Hot Prospects, Raven Creed, Talking the Talk, Session Moth, Martina, Grado, Trent Seven, Leighton Buzzard, and Nathan Cruz. Showstoppers: Michael Oakley, Mark Andrews, Mark Haskins, Ricky Knight Jr., and, Rick, and Sid Lycos. Ring Generals: Michael Oakley, Trent Seven, Jody Flash, Mark Haskins, Mark Andrews. Who's hot at the moment? Trent Seven, Millie McKenzie, Will Cruz, Kid Life Lost 2, Kid Life Lost. Who's not? Ison Reese, Kanji, Johnny Storm, Matthew Morgan, and Van Der White. Several for Hidden Gems. Jackie Polo, Kroger, Stevie James, Shakara, and Ollie Burns. I'm not really interested in any of them at the moment, so let's just crack on with the next show. Okay, the Snake Roberts here in the background. Nice to see he's the fact that he's, I mean, amazing still alive. The, 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 the amount of rugby he's done over the years, absolutely astonishing. But fair play to me, turned his life around. Um, I don't know what I've done there. I think I've accidentally clicked on it. Right. Despite efforts to make alternative variations, um, Nathan Martin has been stranded at the airport. Okay. I don't know why it went so quick. Um, Jack Stars brought up rest of court, accused of being absorbed by his phone, boring. Just I ain't gonna read these unless there's something different. Um Johnny Storm did a mean spirited rib on Brendan White, led to a fight breaking out. Nathan Cruz got into an argument with a fan. I wish they could do a bit more variety on these. Um uh, Brendan White and Trent Seven have heat, so does TK Cooper with him. Training, that's a, oh, that's so boring. I don't know anybody else, but I just find that stuff to be boring. So if I, no, it does that now. Right there. Let's crack on with the first show. What we'll do, we'll start the show with a women's match. Now we've got a few women's wrestlers in here. So Millie McKenzie, Jetta, Chantel, and Mercedes Blade. Be 15 minutes. Put the women's title on the line, leave it blank, let the AI decide. Okay. Um, there's Matt Fish. There we go. Yep. So that'll be that. 
And then what we'll do, we'll do Jetter attacking Millie McKenzie after the match. that right next match we'll do um we'll just do a normal tag team match we want to try and give the, the tag division a bit of a boost so we've got men's tag team division um we'll do the last of men versus who's the tag champions at the moment oh kit blood costume about non costume aren't available so we'll do Subculture versus Dave Masters and Jack Stars. We'll go 15 minutes. Can't put the tag titles on the line, obviously. Um, there we go, like so. We won't bother doing an attack afterwards, we'll leave that for now. Now, what we'll do, some single matches now. So we'll do. Um, we do Leon Slater versus Kenny Williams if we can. Can we do that? Yes, we can. So we're at 18 minutes, we'll leave it blank. We'll do Kenny Williams attacking him after the show. After the match, sorry. So that's that. Um, what can we do now? So we've got Darren Kearney, but no Nathan Martin at the moment. It's not available. So we'll put Darren Kearney in a match. See if he's any good in the ring. No, he won't. I don't think he'll be as good as um, he was in the other database that I had when him, him and Nathan Martin were brilliant. I think the days of me getting in ring ratings of 80 are over on this game, on this database anyway. Brendan White push continues. Like that angle afterwards. White attacking. Oh my god, there's a bloody fly about. If you can hear that buzzing, it's driving me mad. Get out of here, go on. All right. Um, we've done 87 minutes, we can do probably another two matches. So we'll just do two simple matches to, to do Joseph Connors. We'll have him against Nathan Cruz, Rampage Brown, we'll try Rampage. No, actually, we'll have Rampage Brown in the uh, main event. Omari from... Joseph Connors versus Amari, and then what we'll do, the main event will be Trent versus Rampage Brown. Let's check who the uh, Trent the uh, Doug, where are you, Doug? Doug's not available. Lee Hunter will have to, no, not Lee Hunter, he's not very good. Uh, Dave Masters will do. And we'll put the title on the line, and then we'll leave it blank. Okay, we've gone slightly over. Uh, we'll just get rid of this angle. Oh, we both. Oh, that's messed it up. Now. What have we done here? Oh, okay. We need to do an angle after. So we'll do. Right, bear with us. Joseph Connors attacking. Uh, who did he wrestle again? Amari. We'll do that. We'll do Connors attack Omari. We'll put that. No, no, wrong way. Like so. And then what we need to do is probably just knock this down to 11 minutes. There we go. Right, everybody's happy. Let's crack on. So in the first match, uh, Millie McKenzie wins. She defeats Jetta Chantel 
Jordan and Mercedes Blaze. Um, she makes defence number four of the women's title. Second got 40. Proud was not happy about this by the looks of it. Uh, wrestling got 34. Millie McKenzie was the standout performer with 48. The uh, subculture tag team defeated the last hard men of, uh, of Dave Mastiff and Jack Stars. Segment got 46. Wrestling got 44. Um, Flash and Mark Andrews were the best wrestlers there. Getter should have done a better job. Uh, Leon Slater, no, Kenny Williams defeated Leon Slater. Got a 40 rating for the segment, 44 for the wrestling. Leon Slater was way better than Kenny Williams in this match. Uh, Angle Atkins got a 22. And then Darren Kearney lost to Brendan White. Got a 37 for the segment, 38 for the wrestling. Darren Kearney with a 41. But yeah, Brendan White getting a bit of a push. Him and Will Cruz. I think of the two one two out of that group, that stable I've got, and I think I want to push. Omari defeated Joseph Connors, got a 37 rating for the segment, 35 for the wrestling. Uh, Joseph Connors was slightly better than Omari. Angle Atkins got 25. And in the main event, we had um, Trent Seven defeating Rampage Brown. He's made defense number five of the heavyweight title, got a 52 rating for the segment, 47 for the wrestling. Trent was a standout performer. Fortunately, Rampage was off his game. We increased our popularity in one region. We got 47 and we got 67 people in, which is the most we've had so far. So not too bad at all. Let's get rid of that. Um, we got £469 from the show, £12 from merchandise. We still lost three and a half grand though. Popularity, we've increased to 12 in the Midlands though, which is good. That's that done. Not too bad of a, an event there for Paradise City. Um, we seem to be stuck. We don't seem to be. We don't seem to do a better than a fifty rating for the show. Which is a bit annoying. Right. So Leon Slater is no longer with us. Um, not in alliance with. Um, with them with North Wrestling anymore, but I am in alliance with. Um, National Wrestling Alliance. So. Put this first. Ah. Right. Uh, we can't actually get any of the wrestlers in. It wasn't. It's not a. Can we expel them? That'll be quite funny. Ah. Yeah. So we can't really do anything from here. I'm hoping it we will make some money from this alliance. Fingers crossed. Right. So our next show is tomorrow night. So I'm just going to go forward with this. Shouldn't take too long. Process. Hope everyone's having a nice weekend while you're waiting for me to vamp a bit. I made some money on the Man United game. Um, I did a booking, three players to get booked in the match, and all three of them got booked. Uh, Harry Maguire, Calvin Bassey, and uh, Andres Pereira. And I won 183 quid off a three quid bet, so I was very happy with that. And my team, Man United, won. So can't complain too much. Anyway, enough vamping. Let's get on with the next show. Right, we'll just do Starworks today. Booking team, we're not bothered about that. Locker room instance, here we go. Angle idea, okay, fair enough. Right, you're approached by Mark Haskins, asking you to pay rise from his power fine. That was a joke, half a raise. Okay, there you go. Right. There's been some grumblings backstage from Doug Williams and isn't happy with Trent Seven holding these recent road agent. Uh, training drills. Brendan White and Scott in a fight with Fraser. Ugh, I can't get me words out today. Brendan White almost got into a fight with Morgan Webster. And it goes back here. So. Right. What we'll do is we'll do Mark Andrews. Can we book Mark Andrews? We can. Mark Andrews versus Jody Fleisch. I think that'd be a good match to start the show. 15 minutes, leave it blank. And then we'll do his life dogs. 
two versus uh, who had Model O two and Model O two. There we go. Just trying to make the best match as possible. And we'll do an angle afterwards with Model O two attacking him afterwards. That and then um, last match. And then what we'll do now is we'll do. I want to do a tag team match with the wrong thing there. There we go, tag team match. We'll have any division tag team view. More than hyped, so they'll make their tag team debut, and they can go against. I think Starbucks. Pretty decent tag team division now, actually, to be honest. Um, do Mark, Has Mark Haskins attacking Robbie X attacking Darren Kearney, victim Nathan Martin, victim. Just to save time, I will just type in the collection name. Post match attack. Right, so that's that done. Um, how long have we got left? We've done sixty one minutes, so we've got enough time to do a main event. And we'll do we'll do a triple threat match. And we'll have Trent Seven versus we have them against Flash Morgan Webster and maybe Kenny Williams and <coughs> Rampage Brown, probably Rampage Brown actually. So 17 minutes, let's just check who's in charge now that time. We've got the heavyweight title on the line. Just book it, leave the AI in charge of it. Right then. So Jody Flies defeated Mark Andrews in the match, got a 49 rating for the segment, 48 for the wrestling. Um, Mark Andrews was slightly better in the ring. Michael Oku defeated Kid Lycos 2 with the lowdown, got a 49 rating, 52 for the wrestling. Kid Lycos, oh no, Michael Oku was slightly better in the match. And the angle after got a 31. Tag team match of more than hype versus Starbucks got a 50 rating. Uh, wrestling was 46. Starbucks defeated more than the hype. Um, but both tag teams performed quite well by the looks of it. So that's good that Darren Kearney and Nathan Martin are slight, uh, pretty good as a team. Same as these. these. This could be like a decent little series of matches they could have for the tag titles at some point. Angle after has got 25. And then the main event. Rampage Brown defeated Trent Seven, Flash Morgan Webster. Rampage Brown in Flash Morgan Webster, the Dr. Bomb, and he is now the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight Champion, which is good because he is our biggest star according to creative, so it makes sense. Second got 54, 52 for the wrestling. Um, Trent was the standout performer. But yeah, we increased our popularity in one region. We still can't get past that overall rating of 50. We can't seem to beat it. 59 people turned up. And all that. Right, so we made a loss of 4,000 from that show. Still got 12 in the Midlands. Right, just wait for that to load up. Um, actually, I'm going to call it a day. I just realised how long I've been recording. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you to everyone who watched this episode. Um, I want to try and do a couple of shows per episode, try and make the series last a bit longer. I do uh, The last series I did with Fight Club Pro and TW20, I did actually get through quite a few shows quite quickly. Um, so I want, to try and, I want to try and do it slowly. So please be patient. I will get there. Um, but thank you for watching. In
enjoy the week off away from me. I hope you don't miss me too much. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I always appreciate you all. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I do appreciate it. Uh, also, let me know who you, who your favourite wrestler is on my roster. I would appreciate that. Try and get let's try and get some comments going. So yeah, I'll leave that with you, and I'll be back. Like I said, a week on Monday. So we're looking at the twenty sixth, and then my first TW video coming up after this one will be on the twenty eighth. So anyway, it's not too long though. It's only ten days from now. Right, I'll speak to you soon. All the best.